Hey YouTube. Oh man, I just finally delivered this load. This video, I wanna talk about being creative and just knowing that you need to have imagination in order to, you know, have to live life to its fullest. Because a lot of times, you know, as human beings, we are programmed to just, you know, grow up from kids, Really, as a child, that's where we are our most creative because we don't have the weight of life like bills and responsibility on our shoulders because usually as a child, you're supposed to have be carefree because you're a child, so your parents normally take on all the stresses of life. So by that being said, children are allowed to let their creative beings flow because you know they have the time and energy to do it. But as you grow up and get past the child stage to where now you have to live life, you know, you have to pay bills, you got to raise kids, you got, you done had your heart broken, all those different traumas and events eventually tears you down to where you might lose a little bit of your creative side and your imagination. Now, a lot of times, you know, we get stuck in the rut of the only thing we look forward to is going to a job that we hate, that's draining or dealing with somebody we don't want to be with, that's draining, or just not living to our life's full potential. Every last one of us are full of potential, but a lot of us don't know how to bring it out. So a lot of times when you put a lot of effort into thinking of what to do, you know, you don't let the genuinity of your creativity flow just do what you're passionate about like go forward and just like just let your creativity just happen naturally don't think too much into it don't put too much effort into it because if you put in a lot of effort into something then really you're faking it you're forcing something that's not natural to where it may work out but nine times out of ten it's probably not going to work out so a lot of times, you know, we grow old in jobs that we can't stand. And at the end of the day, when you retire, what you got a gold watch and maybe a what a, a, um, a 401k or maybe you got, what is it I'm looking for? Security, social security. That's not living. So now you don't work 30, uh, 20 years and all you got to show for it is a watch, you know, I'm sorry guys, all you got to show for is a watch and half your pay that you was making. That's not living. So I really feel like whether you had a nine to five, whether you have your own business, you need to find a way to add your gift to the world. A lot of times jobs, even schools, they don't allow us humans to provide our creativity side or our imaginations because they know once we get sparked with what is naturally in us, our capability of what we hold as a gift will start to manifest. Because you gotta understand that um, our bodies are frequencies and a lot of the frequencies comes from our heart. Our heart is like a big generator and it actually gives off of, uh, it gives energy off. It's like a powerhouse to power our bodies. And it actually can, I don't know the exact range, but it actually can, um, what's the word, emulate, like it can, like it can read from like 10 feet away from what they say. And they say that the energy, whether it's good or bad, it feeds with the universe. So it starts from the earth, you know, mama earth, you know, we, we think, matter of fact, it starts from the head because a lot of times our thoughts is energy. So the subconscious mind doesn't know good from bad. So if you've been hit with a lot of bad traumas or you've been hit with a lot of good positive things, that's what you're going to tend to entertain with your thoughts. So by you thinking that, now those thoughts then turned into energy to where it has to work its way through your body. It works your way all the way down to your feet. And from your feet, it goes into Mama Earth, which then Mama Earth emits it back out into the universe. And then the universe gives it back to Mama Earth, then Mama Earth gives it back to us, which causes law of attraction. So if you are attracting bad things in your life, like maybe you attracting bad men or bad women, 
or you attracting bad luck, like things just never seem to go your way, you need to seriously sit down and evaluate what are you thinking about because that is some true stuff. Like just test it out. That's why a lot of times I really feel like people need to meditate because meditation is when you let everything go. You sit in a comfortable surrounding and you take like maybe five, however many minutes you decide to take and you take that time to just think about nothing. Either you think about nothing or you think about something really positive. You get in a grateful spirit. You get into being having gratitude. You find the little things that you're grateful for. You find even the bigger things that because you even though life can seem to be uh, maybe not so good for you in everybody's life, there's something to be grateful for. Whether it's just being grateful that you woke up this morning, whether it's being grateful that you have a job, whether it's being grateful that you got healthy kids, whether it's being grateful you just have health, whether it's just being grateful that you can see the pretty sun, whether it's just being grateful that you still have your mom and your dad. It's always something to be grateful for is what I'm saying. So when you go into that grace, graceful, positive energy and you go into gratitude, more, grat more gratitude things come, more things that you're, uh, I can't remember the word, emitting. The, the more you emit those positive uh, frequencies, the more positive things will start to come your way. So you got to be careful guys on, on not having imagination because when you lose creativity and imagination that can be your spiritual death and a lot of times you don't live your fullest is because you know you're so stuck on uh, I got to do this, I got to do that, I got to pay this bill, I got to go to work, I got to do that. Bring some creativity to your job. Like you know do something small as whatever idea you had that can make your job better. Say you work at a warehouse on the assembly line. Maybe you had a good idea that could make the assembly line run better. Try it out and you'd be surprised how fulfilled that you will feel because you gave a piece of your creativity, you know, into the world or into the universe or, you know, part of you is able to come out. Every day, I try my best to be creative in my trucking. That's why I'm grateful for YouTube because making YouTube videos is definitely a challenge in trying to bring out your creative side. You have to really try to do different things and be creative to uh, try to make people watch your videos. So to me, this is a great um, hobby, you know, is to try to make these videos and see which ones y'all like, which ones you don't. And I'm quickly learning what to do and what not to do as far as topics and this and that. So like I said, man, just try it. Try to meditate, you know, sit down, clear your radios, put the phone away, you know, have it to where nobody can bother you. And, and just focus, folk, let all that stress go. You know, you have a choice to hold on to a bad thought or to let it go. You can let it go. You just have to have a, a little uh, routine that you do to where when that bad thought hits your mind, either you can just close your eyes and count to three. One, two, focus on the numbers. Cause a lot of times thoughts come and go. So many thoughts come and go throughout a 24 hour period with us, it's, it's just countless thoughts that, you know, come and go. And some thoughts we hold and we try to make happen. A lot of thoughts, you know, they just pass by because the brain is not uh, meant to hold on to those many thoughts at one given moment. It's just like a computer. So just like a computer, you know, you have to reprogram it and you have to, uh, you know, clean it out from all the viruses and stuff. So you have to renew your mind daily. You have to renew your mind with positive people. You have to renew your mind with positive surroundings. You have to renew your mind just by being creative. That being creative alone will take you out your rut because you're doing something that you're passionate about and you're giving back to the world. So when you can be productive and have something that you gave to the world or to the people, or you're doing something nice to help people out, You'd be surprised how that can help you come out of a lot of depression and stuff like that. So, um, I believe I might have to do a part two. It seems like I have so much to say, but if I don't make um, little bulletin points, I know I miss it. Because a lot of these videos I do straight, you know, straight off the top of my head. There's no rehearsing, no none of this. A lot of the stuff that I talk about is coming strictly just talking, like freestyling. So, I really want to hit on some points that I know when I get off this video, I'm like, dang, I should have said that. So most likely, I'm sure this is gonna be a part two. 
but I gotta get ready to go take my shower. Hey man, ah, you have to, like, this refrigerator on this truck, um, like, for some reason, food, the, fr the refrigerator door doesn't stay closed while driving, or sometimes it just falls open. So, depending on what type of food you might have, the food can fall, and, like, remnants of food can fall in, like, in the front of the refrigerator where the little, um, let me see, like, the little, you know, this plastic carpet, where that plastic carpet is. But check it sometimes because you have to lift it up to make sure that no food went bad back there. Because I always keep my truck clean. I clean my floors and I scrubbed it down with bleach. But I still kept smelling something that was like, um, it smelled like something rotten. And I was like, man, where the hell is this smell coming from? I know I cleaned my truck. But when I opened my refrigerator, because you know, I try to do all the crevices of my truck. So I do inventory to make sure that I don't miss no spot as far as vacuuming, sweeping, and wiping down. So I looked in the crevices of where the carpet in front of the refrigerator is and I seen some magnet magnets in front of it. I said, golly man, some food that fell out. So I had to pour bleach down in there and it killed the maggots. And I, you know, used the baby wipes and stuff to wipe all the bleach up and all the dead maggots. But yeah, man, lift that carpet up sometimes in front of the refrigerator. Or just lift the carpet up where it can be lifted up to see what garbage or filth is under it. Cause you be surprised how much filth and stuff builds up when you don't just do inventory of your floor. And you see those flies flying around? I think those flies is from the maggots. So you know maggots turn into flies. So I guess some of them that matured in the flies. Now I'm probably gonna have to end up bombing this truck or probably just get some uh, some bug spray and probably spray the flies and hopefully they get the hell up off my truck because they are so annoying. So all right guys, time is the essence. You make better time of it. My homework for you today is find something that you really wanted to do and take the doubt away that you can't do it. I don't care how hard it is. You see, I'm struggling like a mug trying to do what I'm passionate about. So if I'm doing it, let's do it. Come on, be passionate, be creative. Find something that you can be creative at work about. Find something that you can be creative in your relationship about. Find something that you just can be creative just for a hobby. If you always wanted to build furniture, build it. If you always wanted to build this car, build it. If you always wanted to just be the best hairstylist, be that. If you always just wanted to make a clothing design, be that. If you always wanted to write a book, do it. What are you waiting for? Stop doubting yourself. Get out your head. Don't blame nobody else for what you're not doing because at the end of the day, you in your own way. Nobody's in your way. You're, this right here, this head of yours is stopping you from doing what it is you want to do. So don't you go blaming your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother. Don't go blaming your man, your girlfriend. Don't go blaming your friend, your dog. Don't go blaming a job, your boss. Because at the end of the day, guess what? If you really want to do something and you really, really want to do it and trust and believe, if you got sick, really sick and tired, you'll do it. Because obviously you're not tired of it. If you was really tired of it, then guess what? You make it happen. Because I know when I get really tired of something, shit gonna get done because I'm sick of it. When you get to where you're sick of it, stuff will start happening. That's when that creative mode will come out. That's when you'll start ima your imagination to start to work because now you have to do it. You might not, what is it? You might not do it by, by choice, but sometimes you'll do it by force. So... Why be forced to do something when you can have the choice to do something ahead of time and where you have more control over your success? So, all right, guys, time is of the essence. I'm in Tennessee right now. It is hot as ball sweat. I mean, I'm sweating, face breaking out. Yeah, it is rough. But, all right, y'all, I just thought I'd give y'all that today because that was on my heart. So, it was on my heart to give, and I gave it. So, let's love each other, not judge each other because I never judge y'all. And it says to love y'all. I should put these eyelashes. I should put these eyelashes on. I'm trying to learn how to do eyelashes, but I don't know how. So, all right, y'all. Deuces. That's going to be my creative thing today, trying to learn how to do some eyelashes. So, deuces.